Hi there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I can't say it without laughing now. I hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. I hope you enjoyed that little video at the start of this video. That's gonna be the subject of today's lesson. Um, I know, I know I've put a bit of a dodgy title in there, but you know, I'm doing dodgy titles all the time. We're not talking about stomp box pedals the ones that you put in front of amps. We're talking about pedal notes here. <laughs> um, so what is a pedal note? A pedal note is usually a sustained note, usually in the bass, but it can be inverted. Um, so it's above everything else that you play uh, while there's uh, inferred harmony or, or other musical noodlings going on above it. And that's what we're gonna do here. I've just put together this little uh, sequence of um, pedal notes uh, pedal point patterns uh, that incorporate just regular pedal tones and inversions as well. So I'm going to talk you through it. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this, well, let's go straight to it. This incorporates hybrid picking and uh, it's generally just the middle finger that we use um, when we're playing these these kind of lines. It's, the, it's what I use. You don't have to do it. You can play it with alternate picking or, you know, uh, whatever you like, whatever technique that you prefer, but I love doing it with hybrid picking. I love the feel of it. I love the feel of the fingers on the strings. I love the sound of it. And it just makes life a lot easier for me. I can keep my hand in one position rather than jumping about um, between strings. So I'll stop rabbiting on um, and uh, let's get straight to the, um, the pattern, the pedal point pattern. Okay, so we're in E. I've turned all the reverb and, and delay off and everything just to keep it nice and clean. Okay, so we're going to start here. And what happens is with this, we get the, uh, we start with the inverted pedal. So it's above everything else. Um, and we do this. It's basically following just a straight ahead natural minor scale. Okay, that's the, that's the descending portion of it. Left hand fingering, you can do whatever you wish here. Okay, and picking wise, I'm going middle and then down with a hybrid. Middle, well, there's a hammer there at the top. Now we're going to ascend, and this is where the, the pedal point is in the lower position. And that's an E melodic minor scale ascending. Okay. So this kind of follows the, uh, the classical rules, as it were, of um, playing the melodic minor ascending and the natural minor descending. But, you know, that doesn't apply these days. Um, you can do whatever you like with it. Okay, so that's the first sequence. E minor, natural descending, E melodic ascending. Okay, now the repetition, descending portion of it, I play the harmonic minor scale. Okay, and then the ascending is exactly the same as what we played before, the melodic minor scale. Okay, so, natural minor, melodic, harmonic, melodic. Uh, it's just a little pointer here, it's a good idea to alternate with your fingers here so the notes don't bleed together. So if you do that, the notes will bleed together. Okay, so that's the first section. Then we move down to here, position 12. Okay. It's just a straight ahead C major scale. Um, so I'm playing same picking pattern. So it's actually two notes on the B and then three on the G and D respectively. Then 
I ascend. Same thing with the inverted pedal, starting with the inverted. And then when you get to here, change it around. Good, okay. Now we're gonna move down to this position here, which is like A minor. A natural minor, I think. And then A melodic minor ascending. Okay, so that's the first portion of it with all the pedal notes. So we'll do it nice and slowly. Let's do it. Good, now we're gonna move on to this pattern. Okay. Uh, how do I do it? I keep forgetting. Something like that. That's it. So that, that is um, a G7 arpeggio. We shift down here to a C7 arpeggio. So. Quite challenging this one, especially the des descending portion of the, the, the pattern. So nice and slowly. Okay, once more. <laughs> okay, then we're gonna play a diminished seventh, uh, which is based. What do we play? C here. It's basically C sharp diminished seventh. Okay. And then we're gonna go to D seven. Okay, so that's... Okay, then... So it's the same as we did before, but here. Or up a tone, basically. Okay, and that enables us to move to E minor, and we get this. Once more. Okay, that's the thing in its entirety. Why don't we play it in its entirety now? Okay, nice and steady. the entire pedal point um, pattern. Take it slowly as always. Uh, make sure you work on your control more than anything else. Uh, it's important as always to stay nice and relaxed. I work on that all the time with my playing. You know, especially when I take something like this and push the tempo up, I can feel myself tensing up. So I immediately just bring it back and control 
uh, everything in terms of relaxing, you know, breathing properly and everything else. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Just a reminder, 50% off still my lessons on my website. So head on over there. Link is in the description box below and grab the lessons at 50% discount. Get on it. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will catch up with you guys in the next one. Cheers.